Hi everyone and welcome to uh, my sample play of On Base Advanced Baseball. I've printed out the 2019 car, uh, All-Star team cards that Brian has put out. And um, I've been enjoying the game and I thought I'd share uh, what I know about the game and um, kind of let everyone see what it's like. And um, I'm using my uh, dice roller that I created and shared and I'm using it on this little cell phone here. It works pretty good that way. So uh, I really appreciate how Brian's designed the cards. They have a nice, simple, uh, straightforward look. They have the pitches for every pitcher, his um, percentage of fastballs, breaking balls, and off-speed pitches uh, against lefties and against righties. All the righties are in red. And also the, the swing and miss percentages for each of the pitches inside the zone, which is the Z swing and Z contact, and outside the zone, the O swing and the O contact. So um, cards are very well laid out. And you go right through the pitcher sequence of the pitch that uh, he typically would pitch based on the roll. And you'll get the percentages of fastball, breaking balls, and off-speed pitches that the pitcher actually uh, threw. Uh, his percentage of those pitches that are in the zone broken down, as I said, between lefties and righties. And then the swing and miss for out of the zone for each pitch and in the zone for each pitch. Uh, if there's contact made, then you proceed to the batter's card where the batter has his percentages of singles, doubles, triples, and home runs against each pitch versus lefty and righty. Breaking ball, lefty, righty. All speed uh, singles for lefty, righty. And if he does not get an automatic hit off of these, um, then you would proceed down for the hit type. And this would be if it was a fly ball, ground ball, line drive, and pop up. And basically all you need to play um, is the four field matrices and the cards. So that's it. Small footprint. It's a great design. It's using the Sabre metrics that are only available and kept since 2008. So um, it's some really uh, deep stuff going on here with some of the most uh, contemporary Sabre metrics stat, stat cast numbers that are available. So um, you can use a die, two, two, two uh, D10 die, but I'm using the dice roller. So for the first pitch of every at bat, you have a chance for an auto K. Uh, if it's uh, if the third roll is 23 or less in this case because he has a 23% K rate and then you take the you have a chance for an auto K or an auto walk on the first pitch and for the walks you take the base on ball percentages rounded down so it's a three uh, you subtract it from 100 so a 97 to 100 so the top end of the rolls are uh, chances for auto walk and so for it to be an auto strikeout, the pitch has to be in the zone. And if it's not in the zone, you can't get an auto K, and it's just the first pitch. For it to be an auto walk, the pitch has to be out of the zone, which makes sense. And then it has to be, for this uh, Zach Granke, 97 to 100. So here's the roll for Mike Trout facing Zach Granke. I've broken the cards into the four teams, uh, taken Brian's lead on that. He broke the teams into four teams, uh, the all-star teams of 2019. So I have the uh, north facing the south today. Zach Greinke's on the mound. I'm already in the top of the fourth inning, and it's nothing to nothing. Zach Greinke's pitch, is a, uh, pitch selection is a 45 against this right-hander, which means it's a fastball because it's less than 47. The zone number is 37, so it's a fastball in the zone. We do the auto K check, it's way over 23, so there's no automatic strikeout. Uh, we do a swing check of in the zone, it's 61 or less, so Mike Trout took this pitch that was in the zone, so that's strike one against uh, Mike Trout. So for the second roll, I'll touch up here, and then pitch selections are 37. That's a fastball, because it's 47 or less against a righty. Uh, it's in the zone, 24. 
and again he did not swing because it's a 96 so he looked at it at strike two we have an 0 and 2 count on Mike Trout Oop. so anytime you roll a 0 0 which is a hundred basically um, on the third roll it's a hit by pitch so my little dice roller acknowledged that so Mike Trout just got hit by a pitch so Mike Trout takes first base no out stop at a first So we have a first pitch. I'll touch the helmet for the first pitch. Pitch selection um, for George Springer as a right-handed batter is a fastball. It's out of the zone because it's higher than 58. The third number is a 53. It is not an auto walk. So uh, let's see, a fastball out of the zone would have to be a 25 or less for him to swing. So that's ball one. Next pitch. It's a fastball in the zone, and he did not swing, so it's strike one. One and one count. Pitch selection is a 91 against a righty. It'll be an off-speed pitch. Zank, uh, Zach Greinke only throws 10% of his pitches to right-handers off-speed, but this 91 puts us there in the off-speed. 19 is in the zone. It's an off-speed in the zone, so we're right here. Uh, this is a swing for in the zone and contact for out the zone, uh, in the zone. Swing for out of the zone, swing for uh, contact for out of the zone. So we have a righty uh, with a off-speed pitch, possible swing, and he does swing because it's a four and we have an 82. Contact is made because it's less than 86. So he made contact on the off-speed pitch in the zone. We go to the hit card with a number of 60. And for an off-speed pitch against righties, a three or less would be a single. Uh, and then four to, to nine would have been a home run. So the only chance he has for hits, uh, George Springer on off-speed pitches against righty is a one to three is a single, and a four to nine would have been a home run. So we have no auto hit, so we go to the out or hit type. Uh, against a righty, the numbers of 53. So 24 or less would have been in a, a fly ball. So with a 53, we'll be in this area, which is 24, uh, which would be 25 to 84 right here. It's a ground ball. So then we just go to the ground ball matrix. We have a fielding number of 29. And so we just go up two rows over nine. It's a ground ball to first base. And um, the way I play it, um, there's a potential for a double play on a ground ball with a run on the first. Although the triangles will give you an automatic double play. The circles means a range check. Range check, I should say, against the fielder. Uh, first base, the second baseman, third base, shortstop, third base. So the range check would be you would check the defense rating of that fielder and check it against the defense roll. And then if, if it's less, if the defense roll were less than the defense rating, then he would make the play. If the defense roll is higher than his defense rating, he did not make the play at the base hit. You also have error checks. If it lands right on the uh, position, the player's position, and you would do a defensive check the same way, defensive number less than the defensive uh, rating, the roll less than the rating, he does not make an error greater than his rating, and he does make an error. So this is a ground out. It's not an automatic double play. But uh, what I do is I take the uh, running rating, BSR 54, compare it to the BSR the, of the roll, which is 25. So it's less than that, so he did not get doubled up at first base. He's safe at first because the, num the roll was under his, his base running rating. So it's a ground out, and Mike Trout's out at second base. That puts George Springer on first base with one out in the inning. Brings Chris Bryant to the plate, first pitch. It's a 69, so that puts us down in the breaking ball area. With a zone of 44, it's just out of the zone. We have a breaking ball out of the zone. 92, it's out of the zone, so a potential base on ball on the auto uh, walk, but the number is 92. It would have to be a 97 or to 100 for the auto walk.
So we have a breaking ball out of the zone, no swing, because it'd have to be a 40 or less for him to swing. That's ball one. We have another breaking ball. It's out of the zone. And 65 is no swing. Ball two. 85 means it's a breaking ball. The zone roll of six means it's in the zone. So we're going down to here against the righty. 15 means he swang, swung at the pitch. And 77 against a 99, he did not make contact. So it's a swinging strike. Counts two and one. Here's the pitch, it's a breaking ball. It's in the zone. So we're gonna go here, and he did not swing. Breaking ball locked him up. No swing, it's two and two. George Springer's on first, one out. We have a fastball. It's out of the zone, so we're looking here. No swing, full count. The count's three and two. Pitch selection is a breaking ball. 58's out of the zone. Uh, there is a swing though. For a breaking ball out of the zone, the 40 right here um, means there is a swing. And the 32 means he made contact because it's less than 53. So on the breaking ball, 3-2 count, Chris Bryant makes contact. Hit number is 80 on the breaking ball against a righty. 10 or less would be a single. 11 to 18 would have been a double. And uh, 19 to two, uh, 23 would have been a home run. Beyond that, it's not an auto hit because the number is, is way off the scale at 80. So on a breaking ball, the um, hit type out number is an 80 against a right-handed pitcher. So we're going to be way here in the line drive area. So we have a line drive with a fielding number of 44. Go to the line drive chart here. And it's a line drive right to the shortstop. And that'll be the second out of the inning. Now you can use the pull numbers. Uh, Bryant is a minus one. So that will send the uh, from the fielding chart left and right. So minus one would have put it right here. It's still in the shortstop's area. Um, so sometimes if it had landed on this one with his minus one pool number, it would have been a line out to third base. The pitcher also has a home run number that affects the Y axis. So sometimes on fly balls, if it's up against the wall back here, you have range checks that you do against the outfielders to see if they made a play. If not, it's a hit. So you can get a hit off the fielding matrices as well. But the um, home run number for the pitchers, Zach Greinke has a minus one. He brings it back down the Y axis. Uh, axis and so it would come down this way some pitchers have a positive number so if it's right here against the wall it'll send it over it means they give up more home runs so that's pretty cool too so the line out means we have two outs in the inning Austin Meadows is up he's a lefty and we get a new first roll and we have a possible auto K number auto strikeout number because it's an 11 and it's less than uh, the 23 that's our third roll the pitch has to be in the zone and it doesn't look like it's going to be with an 83 in the zone so let's just go through it against the lefty a 29 is a fastball and is out of the zone so it's an out of the zone but with an 11 there is a swing because it is an 18 and so um, he did swing at the, the fastball out of the zone. So we look at 79, he did not make contact. So that's strike one. Pitch selection against the left, he's a fastball. 22's in the zone. 31 is less than the 48 swing number. So we have a swing and 69 is less than the 84. We have contact. Austin Meadows made contact with an 89. Uh, on the hit number is way off the scale. He would have to be less than 15, 22, 23, and 30. So no auto hit. The out hit type number is 97 against a righty. That's 34. That's going to put it way over here in, in the pop out. So he popped out fielding number of 15. So 1 and then 5 puts it right here. He popped out to the catcher. And that's the third out. 
So we'll just look at the uh, bottom of the fourth briefly here. Let's see how we do. Reuse on the mound facing Freddie Freeman. We still have no score. Five hits in the game, but no score. So quickly, Freddie Freeman's a left-handed batter. He throws right. Uh, right-handed batter, left-handed pitcher. But he does bat right-handed. So uh, we're facing a left-handed batter, and the pitch is a fastball. 95 means it's out of the zone, so no auto K. Okay. But it's a potential for a swing with a low number like that. So fastball out of the zone and means 21 is less than 22, so he does swing. Now we do have a new number being a, a new rating that's being applied to some where they have a patience rating and that would take the uh, out of the zone swing either up or down based on how free swinging they are. So with this uh, fastball, this is a fastball out of the zone. We have a swing and 79 means no contact at strike one. Pitch selection is a 60, so it's a fastball. 89 puts it out of the zone. 31, no swing. Ball one, one and one. Pitch selection is a 65, fastball. It's in the zone. 59 is a swing, and three means he made contact. But with a hit number of 70, it's uh, there's no chance for an auto hit because it doesn't fall within these numbers of left-handed pitchers for his uh, fastball hits. So the out number is 53, and so 29 at a post in the ground ball area. And we look at 7-4 for the ground ball. So we have 7-4 to ground ball to shortstop. Uh, he does not pull it left or right, so it's right there. So it's a ground out. Freddie Freeman to the shortstop. Jose Abreu, first pitch. And he's a righty, makes it a fastball. It's in the zone. So we look at the swing potential, 59 is less than 66. We do not have an auto K or auto walk chance. With a 21, he did make contact. So we're going to his hit numbers of 31. So against